Alright, so here is a recording from last week and focuses on Chanel Evans. Now, if for those who remember last week, she was the 27-year-old U.S. student that went missing from Orchard Community in Hanover down um, Christmas. Alright, uh, from what is, I've been piecing together, she uh, was visiting her baby father, Neville Humphrey, uh, indicating that they weren't there at one point together, they broke up, and they were in child custody of their child. I don't, they mention anything about the child, the gender, age, whatever, I guess. Alright, and from what's indicated from her ex is that she has a history of depression. She was reported to have, um, um, have um, gone missing when she, after a conversation she had with her dad about being a river. And yeah, before I go on, you might be thinking, okay, this is going to lead to and um to what it usually leads to when you read these type of stories. The good news is, in this is one of the occasions. This doesn't have a grim, um, sinister ending. Cause I'm happy to report that just uh, Chilene Evans was found alive and well. I think they said that some that a community was looking for. Her, and I think some guy had a vision. She was at some particular point. I forgot. Um, I couldn't find the guy's name or didn't. Or I didn't rem I'm true, remember enough to, to really, really dig deep. But she has been returned safe and sound, and she is think, recovering at the hospital because they're going undergoing giving her a psychiatric psychiatric evaluation to determine what really went down, what led to her um, um, disappearing. And the thing I could say is this. One, I'm glad that this didn't end. She didn't end up being, didn't end up finding her dead body, whether or not she was by foul play or through or suicide or whatever. Because usually when you hear these stories, yeah, it's only a you think it's only a matter of time before they announce that they found her, they found her, um, found her deceased, or they don't find her at all. All right, and I'm glad to say that this someone has a happy ending. Cause at least. No matter what the full story is, because we don't know what the full story is, uh, at least she's um, she didn't become one of those. She didn't. Uh, we're not reading about her obituary or on her club. Friends and family members aren't going to be making her funeral arrangements as a result of her being found safe and sound. But all I can say is this: I'm glad that we didn't get the usual narrative when we hear these type of stories, and we just pray that this woman. And again, I don't know her personally. I pray that she gets all the help, she um uh, help that she get, um, needs, cause she has cause the fact that her child needs her mom. Hopefully, and uh, hopefully whatever happened, cause I don't know what what led to her having this history of depression. Maybe some traumatic happened to her. Again, that's if she or family choose to reveal that to do um to the public. Um, I don't know, but I'm just glad that. We didn't get the usual narrative, and we can just only pray that this woman will um, mentally, spiritually, emotionally recover and go on to do um to do good things. And that's all I have to say about this. So we have to pray for this woman because she's obviously been through a lot mentally, and and for and, and hopefully she can overcome whatever demons have been plaguing her for whatever reason and be there for her child as well as herself. So we have to keep. So I'm the pro to say, yeah, it had a very grim and sinister beginning, but it had a positive and um, bright, um, bright ending. Well, at least for this chapter. So that's all I have to say. Keep Chanel, Shalene Evans in your prayers, people, because she needs it. So this is for State of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Check out my YouTube pages, Miles Goodson Fern, Miles Productions, with thoughts and miles. All right.